Every girl, every boy, come on, open up your eyes. There's a world right here, full of wonder and surprise. Let's go and find the thimbles. Thimbles, thimbles, thimbles. Where the thimbles? to water my flowers now. Do you want to come too, Pom? Bye, please. Well, come on then. See you later, Fimbo. Oh, bye, Flory. Bye, Pom. Uh, see you later, Fimbo. Oh, wait, Flory. Pom coming. Wait a Pom. Oh, oh. oh no. Stuck. Flory, Flory. What's wrong, Pom? Oh, yuck. Pom truck's stuck. Oh dear. Yes, it's stuck in the purple patch. <sighs> stuck. Oh, well, can't you pull it out? <coughs> oh, too stucky. Oh, but, well, look, Pom, it, uh, you just have to pull hard. It looked like this. <coughs> oh. Oh. oh, you're right, Pom. It is stuck. Truck's stuck. Oh, what to do? Oh, um, I know, Pom. Maybe we can push it out. Puss, puss. Right. When I count to three, you give a big push. Puss. Ready? One, two, three. Push. <sighs> Stuck. Oh, oh, that didn't work either. Oh dear. <laughs> Truck. It fell in a hole and now it is stuck. He's stuck in the hole. It's just our luck. We can't pull it out. It's, it's a stuck trundle truck. Oh, no. The fimble dance. Let's all do the fimble dance. Ooh, did you hear that? <laughs> I know what that is. It's the tinkling tree. The tinkling tree is telling me something. Look. <laughs> My fingers are twinkling. Oh, I think your fingers are twinkling too. 
just a little bit. <laughs> Can you see your fingers twinkling? Look, my nose is wrinkling. Oh, I think your nose is wrinkling too. <laughs> Can you feel your nose wrinkling? Oh, look, my top knot's twitching. Oh, I think your top knot's twitching too. Can you feel your top knot twitching? <laughs> That's the fimbling feeling. We're getting the fimbling feeling and we're going to find something. Hooray! I can feel a twinkling. I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? Thing to be found here, but where is it? Is it here? <laughs> no. Is it there? <laughs> no. Or oh, can you see it anywhere? Oh, there it is. We found it. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. Hmm. It's very long. <laughs> A long or wiggly thingy. <laughs> A wiggly stringy thingy. <laughs> hmm. I can make it wiggle like a worm. <laughs> Let's see if it can jump. Way! <laughs> oh, yes. Hmm. Come on, wiggly thingy. Can you dance? Do the fimble dance. The fimble dance. Let's all do the fimble dance. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to show you to Bessie. Maybe she knows what you really are. Oh, hello, Bessie. Hello, my chucky egg. Hey, look what I found. It's my stringy thingy. <laughs> <laughs> that is smart. It looks like a skipping rope, Fimbo. A skipping rope? Um, what's it for? Well, um, for skipping, me dog. Oh, yes. Um, well, how do you do skipping? Shall we have a look and see? Oh, yes, please, Bessie. Then come with me. Come and see. Skip, the skipping rope goes over my head. Then I jump over it. Once you can skip, it's really good fun. can skip. Well, you could have a go, Fimbo. Righto. Now then, I think you just hold the skipping rope and jump over it. <laughs> well, nearly, Fimbo. Although I think you're meant to jump over the rope when it's going round and round. Oh, oh, yes. Um, round and round and round <laughs> and round. <laughs> oh, dear, and Fimbo. Uh, oh uh, I'm all tangled up. Oh, Skipping's hard, isn't it, Bessie? Yes, it's jolly tricky. I wonder what else I can do with my skipping rope. Oh, I'm sure there are lots of things. Mm. Oh, I know. I'll show it to Florrie and Pom. Maybe they can think of something. Cheerio, Chuck. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 
Hello there, you two. Oh, fuck it. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, are you playing a game? Oh, no, because Bomb's trundle truck is stuck in the purple patch. Oh, well, why don't you pull it out? Well, we've been trying, Rocket, but it won't come out. It's stuck, stuck, stuck. Oh, well, maybe it needs to be bounced, bounced out. Bounced out? Yes, you need an expert bouncer. And who could that be? Well, me, of course. I am the bouncing frog. Don't you worry, Pom. I'll soon have that stuck truck out. Hey! Stand back and count to three. <laughs> One, two, three. Here I come. <laughs> I think that was my best bounce ever. But you bounce right over the truck. Truck still stuck. Bing. That bounce was just too good. What can we do with Pom's trundle truck? I tried to bounce it. But it's still stuck. It's stuck in the hole. It's just a lock. We can't pull it out. It's a stuck trundle truck. And we've tried pulling. And we've tried bouncing. Uh, yes, but we haven't tried pulling and pushing both at once. Good idea. How do we do that then? Easy. I'll pull and you push, Pom. Ha, huh, Pom push. Yeah. Uh, what shall I do? You count to three to tell us when to start. Okie dokie. Get ready. One, two, three. Push! Oh, I mean, push! Oh, I mean, push! Oh, I mean, push! Oh, oh, hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Zimbo. Oh, Zimba. hello, Zimbo. Um, oh, Pum, did you know your trundle truck stuck? Yes, we know. we know. We've been trying to pull it out for ages. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> um, hey, I've got something to show you. Look what I found. Well, well, tickle my tadpoles. What is it? It's a skipping rope. Uh, for skipping. Oh, hello, skipping rope. Skipping? Oh, yes. Uh, I've been practising, but uh, I haven't quite worked out how to do it yet. So I thought we could uh, use it for something else. Like what? Well, I don't know yet. I thought you might have an idea, Flory. Well, um... <laughs> oh, hello there. Holy mow. Look, Pum's truck's stuck. Oh, 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 dear, Pom. It is in a bit of a hole, isn't it? Can't you get it out? No. But we've tried pulling and pushing it. And bouncing it. Yes, but it's still stuck. I see. Just like the princess's golden ball. What golden ball? Oh, it's a story, Fimbo. You see, a princess gets her ball stuck in the mud. Really? Well, how did they get it out? Oh, well, that's the story. Would you like to hear it? Darby! Darby! Oh, yes, please. But maybe it will help us get Pom's truck unstuck. With a bit of luck! <laughs> right -o. Back in a roly mo. <laughs> When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ah, here we are. Now... Are you all sitting comfortably? Yes, yes Rowley. Rowley. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called... Stuck. Hmm. One day the princess was playing with her golden ball. She threw it high up into the air. Splat! It landed in the mud. Squelch! Squelch! The princess tiptoed into the mud to rescue her ball. She picked it up, but when she tried to walk away... She was completely stuck. Don't worry, said the dog, and he ran bravely into the mud. Gloop, gloop. By the time he reached her, he was stuck too. Oh, said the princess, I'm stuck, and now the dog is stuck too. 
I will get you out, said the king. And in he strode. Splish, splash. Hold on to me. So the princess held on to the ball. The dog held on to the princess. And the king held on to the dog. The king pulled and pulled, but it was no use. And now he was stuck too. I'll sort out this muddy muddle, said the queen. She got hold of the king's coat and pulled. Plop! She was stuck too. The maid came to see what was going on. Maid to the rescue, she said. She got the royal skipping rope and threw one end to the princess. The princess held onto the skipping rope. The dog held onto the princess. The king held onto the dog. The queen held onto the king. And the maid pulled and pulled. Plop. They all flew out of the mud and landed on the grass with a bump. I'm glad I've got my ball back, said the princess, but it's very dirty. I think we all need a royal bath, said the king, and that goes for the ball too. <laughs> there we are, lovely. That was a tip-top story, Rowley. Now, wouldn't it be good if we had something to pull Pom's truck out with? Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Uh, Flurry? Yes, Rocket? Flurry, your top knot's twitching. Are you getting an idea? Oh, yes, I am getting an idea, Rocket, and it's a really good idea. Well, what is it? Fitel! Well, we could use your skipping rope, Fimbo. What for? Uh, look, uh, we could put one end round here, like that. Oh, yes. And then we can all hold it and pull. Good idea, Flory. Yeah. And if we all pull at once, it might just work. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, right, everyone. Um, uh, Just line up behind me. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> all ready to pull. Ready. Ready. Oh, Rolly, will you count? Oh, I'd be delighted to, Fimbo. Here goes. One, two, three. Pull! Oh, yeah. 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 We did it! Uh, my skipping rope did it. Oh, thank you. Pam got trundle trap back again. <laughs> To get it unstuck. It was stuck in the hole. We'd given up hope, but we pulled it out with my skipping rope. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well done, Fimbles. Oh, what a busy day the Fimbles had today. Can you remember who found the skipping rope? It was Fimbo. Fimbo found the skipping rope. He didn't know what to do with it until they decided to use it to pull out Pom's trundle truck, which was stuck. What a helpful skipping rope. <laughs> Perhaps you could find something to be helpful with today. Come and find us again next time, won't you? Now it's time for Roly Mo to go. Cheerio! Every girl Every boy, come on, open up your eyes. There's a world right here, full of wonder and surprise. Let's go and find the thimbles. Thimbles, thimbles, thimbles. Where are the thimbles? Mm.
Hello. Look what I've got. Hello, Foley. Hello, Pom. Oh, pretty flower. Oh, where did that go? Hi, what you want? <laughs> Pom got a pouch. Pom got a pouch. You won't get what's in it. Have a go. It grows in the garden. Smells nice. Looks very pretty. Can you guess? Guess what's in Pom's pouch? It's a flower. <laughs> Did you once guess right? It's a pretty flower. Mmm, <laughs> smell lovely. <laughs> hello, down, down. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, guess where I'm going? To get a crumble cracker. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Huh? <laughs> there it is again. It's my tummy rumbling. Oh, you are a hungry little tummy, aren't you? Well, don't you worry. I'm going to fill you up with a nice crumble cracker or three. <laughs> ah, the cracker barrel. Just what I need. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, I know what that is. It's the tinkling tree. The tinkling tree is telling me something. Look, <laughs> my fingers are twinkling. Oh, I think your fingers are twinkling too. Just a little bit. <laughs> Can you see your fingers twinkling? Look, my nose is wrinkling. Oh, I think your nose is wrinkling too. <laughs> Can you feel your nose wrinkling? Oh, look, my top knot's twitching. Oh, I think your top knot's twitching too. Can you feel your top knot twitching? <laughs> That's the fimbling feeling. We're getting the fimbling feeling and we're going to find something. Hooray! <laughs> Twinkling, I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. Oh, there is something to be found here, but where is it? Um, is it here? <laughs> no. Um, is it there? <laughs> Oh, can you see it anywhere? Uh, there it is! We found it! Hey! <laughs> Thank you for helping me find it. Hmm. Now, what's this? Um. Uh, <laughs> hmm. It doesn't smell of anything. Uh. <laughs> it's a funny shape. <laughs> Hello, Pimbo. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, what have you got there, Fimbo? I don't know. It's bouncy like a ball, but it's the wrong shape. Look. Well, it's egg-shaped, so it must be an egg. An egg? An oh. egg. Hmm. Oh, oh, did somebody mention an egg? Oh, yes, Bessie. Look what I found. Oh, yes. Um, is it an egg, Bessie? It is, isn't it, Bessie? It's shaped like an egg. <laughs> Well, it looks like a ball to me, but you're right, Rocket. It is shaped a bit like an egg. 
It's our egg. Bessie, Ribble came out of an egg, didn't he? Oh, yes, he did, Fimbo. Oh, my lovely little fluffy heart stopper. Shall we have a look and see? Oh, yes, it's please, please, please. Bessie. Then come with me. Come and see. a little one coming, you sit on the egg until it hatches. Then you hear a tap, tap, tapping on the shell. And when the shell breaks, hey presto, there's a lovely little fluffy baby chick. Mm. I wonder what kind of egg this is. Mm. Hey, do you think there's a baby something inside? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> let's think, Fimbo. Yes, let's think. Ooh. Oh, I know. Oh, what do you know, Rocket? It's a kangaroo's egg. Why do you think it's a kangaroo's egg, Rocket? Uh, because it bounced when you dropped it. Oh, yes. And kangaroos bounce, don't they? Yes, they certainly do, Chuck. <laughs> a kangaroo. Our bouncy egg is a kangaroo's egg. Oh, well, that means there must be a baby kangaroo inside our kangaroo egg. Oh, yes. How do we get it to come out, Bessie? Well, if you're going to hatch an egg, you need to sit on it for a very long time. Sit on it? <laughs> like this, Bessie. Oh, I am the egg frog. <laughs> Is that long enough? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. You need to sit on it for a very, very long time. Now, I'm off to do my exercises, so good luck with your bouncy egg. My turn, Rocket. Can you feel anything? Uh, uh, not yet, Rocket. Can you hear anything? Not yet, Rocket. Oh. I know. Let's sing to it. Yes. <laughs> When you're one, your world has just begun. Oh, when you're two, there's so much to do. <laughs> when you're three, look at all that you can see. When you're four, you can do so much more. And when you're five, it's so good to be alive. <laughs> the more you grow, the more you'll know, and the more you know, the bigger you'll be. So come with me, come and see the big wide world. The big wide world. Hello, Fimbo. Hello, Rocket. Hello. Uh, what are you doing, Fimbo? Oh, just sitting on my egg. <sighs> Your egg? It's a kangaroo's egg. A kangaroo's egg? <laughs> How <laughs> exciting! But why are you sitting on it, Fimbo? You have to sit on eggs to make them hatch. <laughs> Did you hear that? The egg must be hatching. Oh, Fimbo, can you feel anything? Uh... No, that was my tummy rumbling because I'm so hungry. I really need a crumble cracker. Oh, poor Fimbo. Oh, I know. I could sit on your egg for you while you go and get a cracker. <gasps> oh, thank you, Flurry. <laughs> this is fun. Can you feel anything? Not yet, Rocket. Can you hear anything? Not yet, Rocket. 
<laughs> Did you hear that? <coughs> now the egg's hatching flurry. <coughs> Hi, I'm back. It's not the egg that's making that noise, Rocket. It's Fimbo eating his crumble cracker. <laughs> oh, Fimbo, we thought you were the baby kangaroo. <laughs> no, I'm not a kangaroo, Rocket. I'm a Fimbo. Oh, hello, everyone. Oh, oh, you look very busy. We are busy, Roly. Fimbo found an egg and we've all been trying to hatch it. <laughs> it's a bouncy egg and we think it's got a kangaroo inside. Oh, a kangaroo's egg. Oh, oh, well, I've never heard of one of those. Yeah, but we've been sitting on it for ages. And we've been singing to it. And still nothing's happened. Oh, oh, oh. Well, how about a story to help pass the time? Oh, story! Story! Yes, yes please. please! Then I'll be back in a roly mo. <laughs> when you take a look... Inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. Now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Now, are you all sitting comfortably? Um, I'm not sure. We are. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called The Thunderbird. One morning, Ben and Charlie were playing in the garden when Ben saw something over the fence. Is it a bird? said Ben. It's a very funny bird, said Charlie. Then they heard a strange, rumbly, thundery sound. It's a thunderbird, said Ben. They showed Mum the Thunderbird. Mum laughed. I know what that is, she said. Look! And she lifted up Ben and Charlie to see over the fence. It wasn't a bird at all. It was Mrs Thomas from next door, wearing a fantastic hat. And there was Mr Thomas, banging something big and round with two little sticks. Hello, boys! called Mr Thomas. We're getting ready for the carnival tomorrow. Come and help. So Mum took Ben and Charlie next door. We thought you were a thunderbird, said Charlie. Mr Thomas laughed. This is a steel drum, he said. Have a go with my drumsticks. Mr Thomas showed them both how to make rumbly noises and thundery noises. Ben and Charlie made such loud thundery noises, Mum had to put her hands over her ears. Now we're ready to dance, said Mr Thomas. Ben and Charlie helped Mr Thomas play the steel drum and Mrs Thomas practised her dance. When they finished, Mum cheered and clapped. Well done, boys, said Mr Thomas. I think you should come and help us play the drums at the carnival tomorrow. Yes, please, said Ben and Charlie, and so they did. Oh, thank you, Roly. I liked it when they dressed up and pretended to be someone else. But our egg still hasn't hatched. No, still no baby kangaroo. Oh, I know. Hey, Pom, come here. Do you want to dress up? Oh, yes, please, I. Great. Come with me. Fimbo, do you think I could be a good kangaroo? No, but you'd be a good kangaroo rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Tippity toppity! Look, Pom, I'm going to make some kangaroo ears. You're going to be a baby kangaroo. Baby kangaroo! Oh, Pom, baby kangaroo! Bouncy, bouncy, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> right, I just have to stick this ear on here and this one on here, like that. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, <laughs> boing, boing, woo! <laughs> Come here then, Pom. Let's put on your ears. 
Oh, that tickles, boy. <laughs> now, let's go and give Fimbo and Rocket a big surprise. Did you hear that? What? what? Boing, boing, bouncy. That noise. Bouncy, boing, boing. Oh, yes. It's a baby kangaroo. Look. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Tom, you're the baby kangaroo. <laughs> yes, Pom baby kangaroo. Sing, sing. You can do that's really fun for me and you. Come on, everyone, let's be a kangaroo. Oh, yeah! Come on! Bounce, bounce, bounce. Boing. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce! bounce, bounce. <laughs> 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 What's that? <laughs> it's my tummy rumbling. I think I need another grumble cracker. Oh, Pam got pouch. Oh, thank you, Pom. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> You're a real kangaroo. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. What a bouncy day the Fimbles have had today. Fimble found a bouncy ball and Rocket said it was a kangaroo egg. Hmm? Egg? Well, they're but Kangaroos don't really come out of eggs. They come out of their mummy's tummy and then they live in the mummy's pouches. Pom had a pouch, didn't she? And she dressed up as a baby kangaroo to give Fimbo and Rocket a surprise. <laughs> Watch out, Kangarookit's about. <laughs> Why don't you see if you can bounce around today? Come and see us again next time, won't you? Now, we must fly. Goodbye. Look, I found something. Every girl, every boy, come on, open up your eyes. There's a world right here, full of wonder and surprise. Let's go and find the pimples. Pimples. A house for little one. <laughs> oh, here you go, little one. Here's your cup and your dish, and don't forget your blanket. <laughs> oh, all nice and cozy. Shall we go and visit little one in her new house? <laughs> Come on then. Uh -oh. Knock knock. Oh, <laughs> hello, little one. I've come to visit you. <laughs> oh, hello, Bessie. Oh, hello, Florrie love. Oh, my. Little one looks all nice and snuggly. Oh, yes. I've made little one a house. Look, here is her cup. And here is her plate. And here is her blanket. This is Little One's new house. Oh, how cosy, Florry love. May I come and visit Little One's new house? Oh, oh, I'll just ask Little One. 
<laughs> oh, little one says yes, Bessie. She thinks you should come and visit her right away. What? Oh, oh, Bessie's coming to visit you, little one. Oh, oh what a cosy home you have here, little one. <laughs> oh, visiting is such fun. <laughs> Pum. Oh, what are you up to today? Oh, Rocket, look, upon the fine sticks. A oh, big, big stick and little stick. Oh, well, you're lucky I came along, Pum. Oh, oh Rocket, fine sticks. Of course I know where to find some sticks. Oh. I am the stick finding frog. Oh. Bye. Oh. <laughs> I see that stick. Oh, hello, Rocket. Oh, hello, Fimbo. Oh, Rocket, have you seen my shimmy shaker anywhere? Oh, have you lost it again, Fimbo? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> it's around this time of day, I like to sing and dance and play. When I shimmy, shake, shake, shake. And when I shimmy, shake, shake, shake. The shimmy shakes the dance for me. It makes me smile and feel happy. I'm looking high and low, I'm looking everywhere I know For my shimmy, shake, shake, shake the For my shimmy, shake, shake, shake Good. Have you looked everywhere for you go? Yes, I have <laughs> But it always seems to get away I seem to lose it every day I've lost my shimmy, shake, shake I've lost my shimmy, shake, shake <laughs> Fimbo, look, what's that? Ooh, is it a strange purple and orange flower? Where? Uh, can you see it? <laughs> it's my shimmy shaker! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I'm getting the trembling feeling. I'm going to find something. Hooray! Twinkling, I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Oh, there is something to be found here. But where is it? Is it here? <coughs> or is it there? <coughs> oh, can you see it anywhere? <coughs> Timbo! Oh, that's a tickly cough rocket. Oh, look at that! Mm. Mm. It's very light and it's very <laughs> tickly. Mm. Oh, I know what this is. Timbo! <laughs> <laughs> stop! Timbo! Stop it! It's tickly! Stop! Stop! <laughs> oh. What did you stop for? I was enjoying that. Do you know what this is, Rocket? Uh, I know. A tickling stick. Oh, come on, Fimbo. Uh, tickle me again. Tickle my tummy till tea time. <laughs> mm. This is a feather rocket. Mm. Bessie has feathers. Yes, I know. She's a bird. Mm. I'm going to go and show it to her. See you later, Rocket. Oh, <laughs> bye, Fimbo. <laughs> hello, Fury. Hello, Bessie. Oh, hello, Fimbo. <laughs> <laughs> mm, look what I found. Oh, whatever have you got there, Fimbo? It's a feather, isn't it? Oh, oh is it one of yours, Bessie? Oh, 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 oh. No, it's not, Florichuk. It's not my colour. I'm orangey pinky, and this one is. Black and white. That's right, Fimbo. Feathers are all very different, you know. Oh, those 
to a lovely color. They're flamingos. Pink flamingos. Oh, that bird's making a funny noise. Yes, he would. He's a turkey. What a lot of feathers he's got. <laughs> Us birds have to take care of our feathers and keep them nice and clean. This bird has lovely long feathers. Oh, what a beautiful colour! Yellow, my favourite! Hello! <laughs> oh, that's a funny looking bird. Yes, it's an ostrich. A bird's house is their nest, isn't it, Bessie? That's right, pet. Us birds make them out of sticks and grass. <laughs> oh, what else do birds do, Bessie? Oh, well, sweetheart, we like to fly around and we pick up sticks. Oh, and we love to sing. Dee-dee-dee, dee-dee-dee. <laughs> All day long. <laughs> um, do you like eating apples and crackers? <laughs> oh, yes, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Collecting sticks, singing and eating apples and crackers. I like all those things. You know, I think I'll be a bird today. Oh, oh but how will you fly, Fimbo? I'll flap my feather like this. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh, come on, Fimbo, that's right. Oh, oh, can I have a go, please, Fimbo? Um, maybe later, Flory. I've got to go and build my nest now. Oh, oh bye then, bye -bye. Fimbo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Whoosh, whoosh, I'm flying. This is fun. Every bird likes to fly way up in the sky Land on the ground, have a look around Flying here, flying there, flying way up high Time for a play, then they fly away Whoosh, 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 whoosh Whoosh, 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 whoosh Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Hi, Simba. Oh, hello, Pom. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. whoosh. Oh, <laughs> look, Pom. Look at my feather. Oh, hello, Feather. <laughs> oh, what have you got in your trundle truck? Uh, sticks. Are those your sticks? Yes, a Pom sticks. Oh, can I have your sticks, Pom? Uh, they're just what I need to make a nest. Uh, Thimbo sticks. Uh, all right. There you are. <laughs> Thank you, Pom. Uh, but I'm going to need more than that. Can I have all your sticks? Oh. Uh, yes, Pom. Uh, all your sticks? Uh, yes, please, Pom. Uh, all right, Thimbo. Thimbo have all your sticks. Oh, thank you, Pom. It's uh, all right. Thimbo? Oh, uh, yes, Pom. Uh, Pom have uh, no, not just now, Pom. I'm being a bird. Oh. Uh, Pom be a bird? Uh, maybe later, Pom. Oh. Simba? Oh, uh, yes, Pom. Uh, Pom have a feather now? Oh, not just now, Pom. I'm still playing with it. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh boy. I'm going to build a great nest with these sticks. <laughs> Do you want to play with us, Pom? Oh, yes, please. We're playing house. Would you like to come and visit us, Pom? <sighs> Home is a place we like the best. Home is a place to play and rest. Visit our home and you can be here with little one and here with me. <laughs> a Pom visit. Now that's a great nest. <laughs> hmm. So this is what birds do then. Hmm. And um. Oh, this nest isn't very comfortable. Um, um. What can I do now? Oh, I know. I'll sing a song. Home is the place birds like the best.
Hello, Fimbo. Was that you singing? Oh, hello, Roly. Yes, I was singing my bird song. Ooh. Ooh. That's a rather big pile of sticks you've got there, Fimbo. It's my nest. Ah, I see. And what uh, would that be? Ah, that's my feather. <laughs> First, I flew all around the valley like this. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then I landed here and built this nest out of the sticks which Pom gave to me. <laughs> and a very cosy nest it is, Fimbo. <laughs> Thank you, Roly. But when I've built my nest and I've sung my song and now, now, I'm not really sure what to do now. Oh, well, uh... I could read you a story. Oh, have you got one with a bird in it, Roly? <laughs> I should think so. Back in a Roly Mo. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ah, here we are. Now, are you sitting comfortably? Good, then I'll begin. This story is called The Crow's New Feathers. Crow was tired of being just one colour. She would look at all the other birds in the garden with their different coloured feathers and sigh. Huh. Then one day she had an idea. Crow saw Robin with his red breast. Robin, may I have one of your red feathers? No, said Robin. I need all my feathers to keep me warm. Crow saw Yellowhammer with her yellow feathers. Yellowhammer, May I have one of your yellow feathers? No, said Yellowhammer. I need all my feathers to help me fly. Crow saw Magpie. Magpie was busy collecting shiny bits and pieces to take to her nest. Magpie, may I have one of your white feathers? But Magpie said, Don't bother me now, Crow. I'm busy. Just then, a single white feather floated down in front of Crow. Then another white feather, and another. Crow looked up. Someone was spring cleaning, shaking pillows out of the windows, and all the loose feathers were floating. Crow collected the fluffy white feathers and tucked them under her wings. You look smart, Crow, said the other birds. Crow wanted to see how she looked for herself. What I need, she thought, is something shiny. Soon the family started to eat lunch in the garden. Crow spotted a shiny teaspoon and she flew down and picked it up. Crow looked at her reflection in the shiny teaspoon and was very pleased. So remember, if a black and white bird ever takes something shiny from you, it might just be Crow wanting to see her new reflection. Crow really liked his new feathers, didn't he, Roly? <laughs> I think he did, Fimbo. You know, Roly, I think I'm going to play with the others now. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Pom wanted to play with the feather, and Flory did too. Hmm, I'll go and find them. <laughs> bye, Roly. Bye-bye, oh, Fimbo. <laughs> a whoosh, 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 whoosh. Whoosh! Whoosh! Oh. Whoosh! Fimbo! Oh, hello, Fimbo! <laughs> hello, you two! I'm back! Did you have a good time being a bird? Oh, yes, it was lots of fun, but now I'd like to play with you. Please? <laughs> OK, we're playing Little One's House. Oh, that sounds like fun. Uh, and look, I've brought you both a present. Oh! Feather! Feather! <laughs> uh, do you want the feather, Pom? <gasps> Here you go then! <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> hmm. Your turn now, Flory! Oh. <laughs> Come back here! Oh, well, my little.
little chickadee. The Fimbles had a busy day today. Who found the feather first? Fimble, that's right. And then, what did he decide to be? <laughs> yes, a bird, just like us, Ripple. <laughs> he flew all around, and then he built himself a little nest to sit on. <laughs> and then, he decided to go back to play with the others. Oh, 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 what a lovely, tickly time they all had. <laughs> you'll see some birds flying around today. Do come and find us next time. Now, we must fly. Goodbye. <laughs>